There were 96 teddy bears in the shop yesterday. The ratio of the number of teddy bears to toy cars was 6 is to 11. So, teddy bears to toy cars was 6 is to 11. Now, after a wholesale order of a box of toy cars arrived at the shop, the ratio of the number of teddy bears to toy cars became 3 is to 8. Alright, so, alright, this ratio here is what there were before and after. Right, teddy bears to toy cars became 3 is to 8. Alright, so as you read this sentence here, you know that a box of toy cars arrived at the shop. So the toy cars actually increase, but the teddy bears, alright, has to remain unchanged. Alright, so this is how you should interpret the question. So since the teddy bears have to remain unchanged, this is 6 units here, this is 3 units. 3 times 2 will give us 6. So if we multiply this by 2, we would have to do the same here. This is 6 is to 16. Alright, so you look at the teddy bears before and after, it's now the same. Alright, it's now the same. But you can see the number of toy cars increasing from 11 to 16 units. Alright, we know that there are 96 teddy bears in the shop yesterday. So these 6 units is equal to 96 items. 1 unit is equal to 96 divided by 6 and that is equal to 16 items. Alright, 1 unit is equal to 16 items. How many toy cars arrive in the box? Alright, the number of toy cars increased from 11 to 16 units. So 16 minus 11 is equal to 5 units. 5 times 16 is equal to 80. Alright, because 1 unit is equal to 16 items. There was an increase of 5 units. So 5 times 16 is equal to 80. So 80 toy cars arrived in the box. Alright, so... This here is our answer.